Hey guys, Ray from Lovey RV. So I'm back with an update on my review of this Active Start Advanced Intelligent Soft Starter for RVs and Homes. Reduces startup amps by 50%, supports multiple loads, starts ACs with a small generator. Built-in surge protection. So when I, in the first video, it wasn't warm enough out to really test this with my air conditioner, but it's warmed up. So first we're going to give you a, a listen to it starting the air conditioner without the soft starter and with the soft starter in an RV park. And then I've gone out boondocking and I've tried the soft starter with various uh, uh, units that I have. I have a 2000 watt generator and I have a 2400 watt portable lithium power station and also have a 3000 watt inverter. So I'll let you know how it performed trying to start my air conditioner. My air conditioner is a uh, Furion 14.5 kBTU, kind of in between the 13.5 and the 15. So we'll see how it performs. And I'll come back and we'll get a look inside this, see what's inside this box, and then kind of give you my likes and dislikes. So let's go. So for the off-grid tests, I tried it on my inverter, my lithium power station, and my generator, and it failed to start the air conditioner with any of them. Now, for the test, I just hooked up the cord coming out of the RV, the power cord. Uh, so I thought, okay, there may be a problem with too much voltage drop in the wiring. I also go through a transfer switch, so I thought maybe that's interfering or there's a problem with a breaker or something. So what I did, to be fair, is I took my air conditioner cover off here and I found the, the power wire going into it. And um, I cut it and spliced in a 20 amp a power plug and receptacle and then attached it to a 30 amp cable that was about 20 feet long. So basically it's plugging straight into the air conditioner with nothing in between. And uh, here was, was the results. First up was the EcoFlow Delta Max, which has a 2400 watt inverter with a 5000 watt surge. Uh, it, during startup attempt, just shut down. Um, I tried all the different options they have in the app. The Active Start app has various options, small inverter, 2000 watt inverter, 2000 watt generator, 3000 watt. And it uh, it did the same thing, basically the 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 inverter on the, the Flowmax EcoFlow just uh, shut straight down. Next up was my little generator. I have a 1600 watt generator with a 2000 watt surge, your typical thing they call them a 2000 watt generator. Um, and I put it in, I tried it in uh, econo mode and full RPM and I got the same results. This is what showed up on the screen. Air conditioner didn't start. Uh, the generator actually kept running, um, but this thing shut down. You see it went kind of crazy with all the amps there, and then this NAN showed all up there. Um, and also with any all these tests, I first started the air conditioner fan, so the fan was running, so there wasn't the, the startup load from the, from the air conditioner's fan. It would just be the, the compressor kicking on. So that was another fail with my Energizer generator. And then finally, I tried my um, Motomaster 3000 watt pure sine wave inverter. So it's a 3000 watt inverter with a 6000 watt surge. I had previously tested my, when I got, was testing out this air conditioner, I tested it with this and it would shut down. It wouldn't, it wouldn't run the air conditioner. And this active start soft starter didn't help at all. It, I tried all the different options and I always got this thing that said thigh wrist or load error. And the thigh wrister is like a little electronic component in there that's sort of like a switch for for uh, AC f applications. And, and I guess it just overloaded and got this error. So unfortunately with my, uh, my air conditioner, um, this thing doesn't help any of these devices run it. Let's get a look inside. So four screws gets the lid off. 
looks like a pretty decent to cabling on each end. You're, this is a 30 amp model. They don't have a 50 yet. They're supposed to come out with a 50. And then they have a ring for security so you can lock it to the pole. Anyway, this pops off and you can see right away there's a, a rubber O-ring that seals it from the weather. Because they do say this is for outdoor use only. Um, now the guy says he's going to come up with a, an indoor one, so you can't hardwire this or have it in the RV. Well, you could, but <clears throat> you're taking your own risk if you do that. Um, there's not really much in here that could actually catch fire. It may, you know, arc and smoke a bit or something. But anyway, he says, I think he says they're going to have a metal box version. Anyway, you can see where the wires are coming in to a terminal strip there. So, you know, a person could hardwired in pretty easily but you'd be taking your own liability and see there's a big relay in there I guess that's what's switching the 30 amps for you quite a bit of electronics going on in there surge protection devices you got a fuse in there a bunch of capacitors one thing I noticed it doesn't look like the board is a conformal coating that I can tell so I'd wonder how condensation could uh, affect it because you're kind of sealing it up with that O-ring. I know from use with the propane propane monitors that uh, had problems with that where little chips would fail on the board because you get water in there. Anyway, not bad construction. Finally, let's go through my likes and dislikes of this product. Uh, number one like is it's actually a USA company and a fairly small business. So, you know, you can get a hold of them and actually talk to someone if you have problems with it. Uh, it seems to be a decent surge protector. Um, obviously, it sh was shutting down when there was too much uh, current going through trying to start the, the air conditioner. Uh, the app is quite nice and has a lot of information, so if you just use it as a surge protector in the RV park, and you have a nice app to see the volts and currents and watts, and you can see what different things are using. Uh, the construction is pretty decent, the cords and everything in a little box and the circuit board, everything looks pretty good there. And also if you use it in an RV park situation, it could help you uh, uh, limit your chances of blowing your, your 30 amp breaker. Say you have your water heaters drawing, you know, 400 and something watts and you have something else going and then you fire on your microwave. Um, it could blow the breaker, but because this thing has sort of this soft start function, um, it would it would reduce the load of the microwave. So you'd have kind of more, a little bit more capacity before it would blow the breaker. But as you've seen, it's not without its disadvantages. Um, one thing I don't like is this one currently is built for only outdoor use, so you can't hide it away in the RV. Um, you'd have to lock it to the, the pedestal if you're worried about theft. I kind of like having mine um, hardwired into my RV somewhere, so you're gonna have to, you have to wait for that version to come out, but currently it's outdoor use only. Um, just wondering about condensation, being from the Pacific Northwest and spending, you know, fall and spring there, we can have cold, wet weather and condensation is a big issue. So I wonder if this is outdoor only, whether it's going to be a problem with that electronics inside having a problem and, and failing to do some water, water condensation inside there. Also, I didn't like the 140 volt uh, over voltage limit. I thought that was pretty high. Um, my previous uh, surge protector was, I think, 132. So uh, I don't know why they chose 140 anyway. I thought that was a little high. And finally, it's uh, fairly expensive. Now, if it actually worked as a soft starter, which your mileage may vary because you might have a different air conditioner. I've seen videos where it's working with, with different generators and air conditioners fine. So could have been just my air conditioner. I know that my air conditioner has a locked rotor amps of over 60 amps and, and this thing's supposed to reduce um, by 30%, which still would put it over 30 amps, which could be why everything I have is shutting down because even my, my, uh, my inverter is maxes out at 30 amps. So could be why, um, but as just a surge protector, it's pretty pricey. But if the soft starter did work compared to others, it's actually not, it's actually in the ballpark. It's lower than other options on the market. Anyway, that's all for now. I'm probably going to use this as, as my, uh, 
as my surge guard going forward. So if I have any problems with it, I'll be sure to come back and report report that to you. Until next time, Ray from Love You RV. Thanks for watching, everyone. Cheers, guys.